so what is Scuff Pro? So it's a laminate film. It's an OPP, same as Soft Pro. It's a polypropylene, and it's scratch resistant. So you know in all your gloss and mats films, there's a coating on top, and you can scratch the film. Well, this Scuff, Scuff Pro is scratch resistant. So that's essentially what this film is. Um, it's on page 44 of our Scandicore product guide. Um, but you might be wanting to know some practical applications of this product. So one of the you know, main usages of this Scuff Pro that we're seeing is book covers. So if you're wanting a durable book, it's a great option. For example, our Scandicore product guide, um, a lot of you guys, our customers probably have these. So this is a Scuff Pro film on this cover. So the reason we did that is we know these books are going to be used a lot. They're going to be passed around the office and they're going to be getting shipped to you. So they're going to get moved around a lot and they could get scratched. So we went with this film. Um, as you can see, there's probably no scratches on your catalog and that's because we used this film. Um, some other applications for it is packaging that's got really popular. And then one that's grown a lot recently, um, I've seen a lot of my customers do it, is menus. So restaurants are slowly opening up again right now, and they need to sanitize their menus. They need to clean them. And you can put a gloss film on that menu, but the problem is, is when they go to clean them, they get scratched. This film is perfect, so you still get your you know, tactile feel on that menu, but it's a scratch-resistant laminate, so that menu is going to last them a lot longer and they're gonna be able to clean it. So that's kind of a market that we've seen grown a lot since this COVID-19 has started. Um, I guess kind of at the end of the day, why do you as a print shop wanna use this film? Well, it adds a lot of value to your print. If you can go to your customers and sell them on how much better this is gonna make their product, how much better that menu is gonna be for them and you can charge for this product, we found that the end user is more than happy to pay for the benefits of this Scuff Pro. Um, again, it comes in two different adhesives, so you can get it in just a normal adhesive if you're doing a large run and it's press prints, but you can also get an Ultra Grip, which is designed for digital prints. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the Scuff Pro film in a nutshell. But did I miss anything, John? No, oh, that's really good, Dexter. So some of the, the uh, questions that we often get, you know, well, I'm currently using a matte product. Why is this matte product so much different? Okay, we have the name Scuff Pro. So it goes without saying really what the, the main characteristic of it. But if you take any, you know, a PET mat, the sheen level of a PET mat is uh, more what a lot would consider a luster. So the Scuff Pro mat is, you know, more a, a rich mat. And then we have the OPP mat, which is a top coated mat product, a traditional mat. The top coating, as you were referring to packages that ship across the country, you know, books that are tightly packed and then they travel across the country. Well, they get that what's called burnishing where the, the materials pressed, you know, a book tight against each other in a very slight vibration with a traditional mat film the burnishing is what actually rubs that coating off of the surface. And the very unique fact of the Scuff Pro is it is not a top coated matte product. It's, it's actually a 5H level hardness uh, material, the hardest surface you can do on lamination. And we've actually changed the molecule structure of the film. So it is not a top coat, meaning if you dig into the film, it's still that same matte coating in there. So there's a very big difference between a traditional OPP matte and the Scuff Pro matte um, from a durability standpoint and a feel standpoint. So the, uh, the Scuff Pro, we're seeing a lot of uptick in popularity of that um, in the markets that you were referring to, Dexter.